Kendall Clark, and today I'm over at Livid Studios where we're going to take a deeper look into the control script for Livid's new bass controller in Ableton Live. In part 1, we'll go over making beats with the drum pad layout, and in part 2, we'll look at playing melodic instruments. Page 1, or function 1 on the controller, reveals the session view for launching and mixing clips. The top 8 buttons serve as our track select, while the touch faders are normalized to track volume. Function buttons 2 and 3 place the controller into note mode. The difference in functions 2 and 3 is in the touch faders. While the button grid remains the same on both, function 2 changes the faders to send control, and function 3 changes the faders to device control. The send control in function 2 gives you access to 4 sends on the currently selected track as well as volume controls for the return channels. Function 3 gives you access to device control of the 8 macros, or the first 8 parameters of the currently selected device. You can use functions 5 and 6 to navigate banks of parameters, and functions 7 and 8 to navigate devices. Now that we have a general understanding of the control script, let's take a look at channel 1. You can see that I have a drum rack already loaded with some drum and synth sounds. You may have also noticed that the bass automatically switched into drum pad mode. The bass script has been written to detect what instrument is on a given MIDI track and to automatically adjust the button grid to the appropriate layout. So let's just take a quick look at the sounds. You will notice from the green and pink groupings that the bass gives you access to 32 drum cells simultaneously. But since my drum rack is only utilizing 16 cells, I'm going to enter split mode. Split mode keeps the left side of the 16 drum pads the same, while changing the right side of the 16 pads into a 16 scene column of clip launch for the currently selected track. This will allow me to play the drum rack, as well as create and record new clips all from the same page on the bass. So let's get started. First, I'm going to turn on my metronome and start the transport. Now I can launch an empty clip slot and begin recording. Since I have access to 16 scenes on the selected channel, I can duplicate my clip and build up my beat over a series of clips. This will allow me to jump back and forth between the clips during a performance. And now I'll demonstrate how you can make beats on the Livid Bass Controller. And that's how you make beats with the new Livid Bass Controller. 
We hope you enjoyed part one of this video. Be sure to check out part two, Playing Melodic Instruments. I'm Kendall Clark with Livid Studios, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>